Yo, what's good everyone? It's your boy. Today's video, Trent versus Robbie. The rematch, baby. Let's go. Before we get into this video, I want to give a massive shout out to the return of my beautiful The Robbie Corn Playmats. Gengar is right now literally available for 48 hours only. Last time we had these on sale, they sold out in literally like a few hours. And look at the artwork. I mean, it's absolutely incredible. So make sure to go check them out right now. I want to give a massive shout out to Frankie, who is the artist for this, for these playmats. They're absolutely beautiful. And with that being said, let's get straight into Trip versus Robbie battle with, you know what? I'm going to say it with two of the best decks in the world right now. Let's go. We got pure Pendulum Magicians versus, and to this day, I say this deck is absolutely underrated. And that is pure Zodiac. I mean, look at his hand. Look at his hand. I'm going to be making a video very soon on pure Zodiac and just how broken it really is. Tanky to one does nothing. You shouldn't even fucking play Tanky because it gets negated, ashed, cosmic, anti spell and pure ordered versus a zoo that can't get negated. He just normal summon and gets six material zoos, five material zoos. This deck's insane. So let's get into it. As you see my hand, I'm playing the best deck in the planet, baby. Let's go. I start my turn off with Chrono, special tuning magician. He, need he impairs my needle fiber. And it does hurt that he imperms Needle Fiber, but it's not the end of the world. It doesn't matter too much. I'm going to end up Pendulum Summoning over here. Harmonizing, bring a double Iris. In this scenario, I did have an opportunity. If I wanted, I could have special out uh, Dragon Pit Magician to special the Tuning Magician. But the only issue with that is that Needle Fiber is not guaranteed to be getting a... Uh, needle Fiber is not guaranteed to... to have a link in the graveyard for the Savage Dragon, so I can't get Savage. I would prefer Needle Fiber to stay on the field to be able to use the Needle Fiber's effect for tuning Magician on his turn. So what I end up doing here, and I think about this deeply, I saw, I saw Imperm that he had an Imperm, so right away I go into Dragster before anything. I go into Dragster with the Tuning Magician, which was special by its own effect, so it's not banished. If I really wanted to, I could have Selene special it out, get a free link three, but I need Needle Fiber on the field. And then what was gonna happen is Dagda, Oath effect to add Wisdom, and now I want you to see this. I literally did it normal summon. I could have normal summon wisdom, wisdom if I wanted to and go into maybe a time star. And that was probably was the best play. That probably was. But to me, wisdom is absolutely insane to open. And in fact, you know what I should have done? I take it back. I literally should have tornado dragon popped my double iris. But the issue with this is I have no follow up. I know for a fact that, that this is enough to stop whatever deck Robbie's playing. Especially if he starts with an imperm. He's not playing stun if he starts with an Imperm. They don't play any hand traps. So this will be enough to stop him. Now, he ends up lightning storming my monsters. But instantly what I do is I activate chain link 2 Dagda, chain link 3 Fiber. Bring out TG1 Magician and Scythe. Dagda gets destroyed. 1 Magician effect. Pop the Scythe. Widow. Negate with Dragster. GG. This is why Dragster is absolutely insane. And this is why you need some protection for the Scythe. You can't just end on a Scythe in case he gets hit with an Imperm. And as you saw there, Robbie was playing the Widow. So... Robbie here, he's going to really catch me off guard. He's playing, I know he's playing Ghost Second Zoo. Uh, he has Dark Ruler, he has Widow Anchor, he has Nibiru. And now here's the issue with this, okay? I'm not playing around Nibiru right now. I know he's playing Pure Second Zoo, so I expect him to be playing zero hand traps. I special Tuning Magician here, and uh, Time Gazer, Tuning Magician should be banished. Star Pengraph, I add Harmonizing. I'm literally just not playing around Nibiru because I don't expect him to have it. There's a way I could have played around Nibiru very easily. I could have gone Selene at Appaloosa and got into an Appaloosa, but Appaloosa does nothing against his deck. So I just opted not to because I thought he would play Ghost Second Spells. I don't consider this a, mis a misplay. I consider it an unfortunate, a series of unfortunate events here. So one of the two magicians should be banished, by the way, because I special with the zone effect. I use Oath to add Harmo, and I just have to hope I survive. He summoned a zoo, I'm like, there's nothing I could do there. I still highly advise, do not play around Nibiru going second in decks that you know don't play Nibiru. Some decks might, so in that scenario you do. So over here for this hand, Robbie has Dark Ruler, Lightning Storm, Desires, Ash, and Thorough Blade. My hand is not that crazy here, but I also do know one fun fact. I made him go first. I made him go first because Zodiacs don't do anything going first. And who knows this better than the person who plays Zodiac the most. So over here, he sets up an Imperm. He has Imperm, Ash, Vespinato. Great setup here. So I'm, okay, we're fine. We're totally fine. Double Iris, Wisdom, let's go Oath Dragon, Effect, at Harmonizing, now I'm just going to simply Pendulum Summon. So I'm going to Pendulum Summon, I don't summon the Wisdom Eye, and the, here's my reasoning why, and it's going to end up costing me. I, I was scared that he, was, he had a Solemn Strike or a Solemn Judgment set. I was like really scared about that. If he had a Strike or a Judgment, I was fucked, because I wanted Oath to at least add a Wisdom for a follow-up, and then I'd kill him on my next turn. 
If I special the wisdom here, I was in such a great position. But you know what? I didn't. I go into time star here to search any imperms. Uh, it's unfortunate, but it's fine. I go this Alliance, and I normal summon Double Iris. I crash, and at this point, here's why I crash the Double Iris. I crash because Time Star's effect will then send Tuning Magician to the graveyard, and then Tuning Magician will be able to special summon itself, completely forgetting that he imperms me. Literally the biggest misplay ever! I was under the impression for some reason that Time Star's effect was Ash Blossom. So I could use its second effect, which is big brain to the max, by the way, to crash double iris, to search for my second pen graph from my deck, and to use time star's effect. To, oh, I, well, sorry, I won't get destroyed. To protect the double iris, I'm sorry. To send, to send the sync, the tuning magician synchro time star. Then uh, X Y Z is battled, so I can go Zeus on top of the time star special tuning magician with double iris, and go into needle fiber plays, backed up with Zeus pen graph needle fiber plays and Celine plays, and like the biggest moron in the universe. I couldn't do it because of the Time Star. And then to make matters even worse, to make matters even absolutely worse, I make an even worse play, okay? So Iris just battled Vespinato. All I gotta do, all I gotta do here is just activate Zeus. But I don't activate Zeus because I don't want him to attack into Vespinato and get his own Zeus. So like an absolute moron, I just set one pen graph, which probably still should be enough, by the way. It's actually not the worst play, because if he draws a Zodiac here, I activate pen graph to pop Iris. I protect with Time Star, sending the Vespinato instead of destroying. So I would be able to both pop and send a Zoo and Vespinato, and then next turn I'd destroy him. Unfortunately, he also plays Cosmic Cyclone, and drew into Cosmic and a Zoo with the Desires. Oh my goodness, it's actually so sad. I end up sending the Vespinato, only for him to get a Zeus, and I'm like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I set one, he goes Zeus, and I'm fine, I just have to hope he doesn't draw into a Zodiac, and he draws again, top decks a Zodiac. Oh my god, he destroyed me. Ah, uh, guys, we end up losing here, to, uh, in my opinion, the best deck after Pendulums. Okay, not the best deck, but pure Zoo is insane. It beat Pendulums! If pure Zoo could beat Pendulums, it could beat anything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I want to give a massive shout out to Robbie for coming onto the channel. If you guys got this far, why don't you guys do me a massive favor and go subscribe to Robbie as well. Also, check out the beautiful, the Remicord playmats. Literally, they're only going to be... Hey, Robbie even has one himself. They're absolutely beautiful. They'll only be there not that long now, guys. Not that long. Not that long. About 24 hours now, maybe even less. So get yours in the description right now. You know what? I made up my mind. I'm going to make a pure Zodiac video literally right after this. Look at this deck. This deck is insane. Pure Zoo is insane. You just play 25 Go Second spells, 15, like 12 Zodiacs, 20, at 3 Desires. You got yourself an absolutely top tier meta deck. Barrage to 1 and Tanky to 1. I mean, Barrage to 0 and Tanky to 1 literally did nothing to Pure Zodiac. It'll affect the Zodiac engine throwing in, thrown into Tri Brigade. It'll affect that a lot. But for Pure Zodiac, it literally does nothing at all. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!